Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the open JSON function in SQL Server and also about the JSON value function in SQL Server. So to begin with, I'm going to create some JSON data. This is the query that I used in the last video, and it's basically taking data out of the customer geography and sales territory dimensions and creating a JSON object from it. I'm creating a temp table. I'm using the CTE method to insert the data into the temp table. So we can just execute that. And it says one row affected, that's all great. And for now, we know that this JSON is in the table um, hash T. So we're gonna forget about this because we're not gonna do that again. So um, one method that we can do is we can assign the, let's first, let's first take a look at this. So we've inserted that JSON object into the customers, into the T table, and we've given it uh, a column name of customers and it's creating the, created this one JSON object. And it has a root node of customers because in the query here on the for JSON path option, we put root customers. So, and then within the customers root, there are records per unique customer key. So there are JSON objects per customer. So um, when we select from the table, that's what we get. Now, if we use open JSON, what it does is it reads the JSON file and it attempts to convert it into a more usable format. Now, so the fir very first thing we can do is assign the data from the customer's column. And remember, it is just one cell, one row, into this JSON variable. Uh, and then we can use select star from open JSON of the variable. And what that will do, as we'll see, is it creates this result set, which has key, value, and type. Now, because we've got a root node, that comes as a single row here, and it's just the JSON object in, in that one cell. So actually, that's not super useful. Um, I do also just want to mention that because this highlighted is equivalent to this and the lower version with the, with the nested select inside the function is shorter, that from now on in this video, I'm just going to use that simpler version. So we've got a root node on this object, and that's why it's been returned as a single um, row in this result set. If we remove the root node, so if I comment out this part, and then rerun this code to create the table. You can see it's one row affected. But now, when we select from the table, we get the five customers that were in the query, and each one is a valid JSON object. So this is customer 11,000. We can see his education and his location and so on. So we have five rows. Now that's what happens when you use open JSON without a schema definition. When you provide a schema definition, things get a bit more interesting. So here you, I have defined the schema of four columns that I want to extract from this JSON object, which is in the, remember it's in the customer's column of that, that temp table. To define a schema, we use this with clause and we surround it with open, and close parentheses. And for each column, we provide a column name, a data type, and then we provide a JSON path to the element that we want to go in that column. So in this case, I've put the customer key path in the customer key column. I've put name.first in the first name column and so on. And because I've defined four columns in this way, even though the object contains more than four columns, because I've defined four columns in the schema, this query only returns the data that I've defined. So that is just four columns for, for the five customers. Customer key, first name, middle name, and last name. So that's all good. Um, another thing that we can do is we can actually extract specific nested JSON objects and put those in columns. So the sales territory, the sales territory is a nested object. And just to show you that again, let's come back to this one. 
and then look at this guy. This is a single customer. We've got a name object, an education object, an occupation object, a location object, and within the location object, we've got a country object and a sales territory object. And this is the sales territory, and it has two elements, region and group. So because that itself is a JSON object, if we want to use that and put that object in a column, we can put the path to the object, which is location.sales territory. So that's this. And we can put the text as JSON after the column definition in the with clause of the open JSON function call. So just to show you what that looks like. We now get the five rows for the five customers with the key, the first name, middle name, and last name. But now we've got the sales territory object as a JSON object in this sales territory column. So if I click on that, it will show me it's Australia Pacific for that first customer. So that's how you put a JSON, a nested JSON object in a column of a result set. Further to that, if we do that, if we put the sales territory in a JSON object and we return a JSON object into the query from the open JSON function, we can then use this JSON value um, function call to extract a path from within that column object. So remember the sales territory is a column and it's a column that contains JSON and it contains group and region so if we use JSON value, we provide the column name that contains the JSON, which is sales territory, a comma, and then the path within that object to the element that we want for the new column for the query. So in this case, the path to group within sales territory, and I've called it sales territory group. And then I've just returned the whole object into a separate column. So just to show you that, um, you can see we've got the five customers, first, middle, and last. We've still got the sales territory, which still contains region and group, but I've extracted the group into its own column using JSON value. So we can, of course, completely skip the with um, clause, and we can just use JSON value to extract all of this information. And I've done that here to extract name.first, name.middle, name.last, and the sales territory group. The issue here is that we can't use JSON value to extract a JSON object. So I can't have this sales territory column in this query down here unless I use a with clause. So just to show you that that works. That works in the same way. So those are the basics of open JSON and JSON value.